Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at a death card for Josef Weber. So starting from the top here. In memory of Obergrenadier Josef Weber, innkeeper in Nemlovitz, who died a hero's death on April 1st, 1942, north of Chudovo, Russia, at the age of 31 years and 9 months. Uh, then we'll go into the prayer section down here. Oh, it's hard to believe that you will never return again. You have to give up your life so young. All of our happiness is over. Everyone who knew you, and also your good heart, which now just silently presses our hand in this deep pain. Now we'll take a look at the back side. Okay, on the back. Blessed are those who mourn, for they are comforted. Matthew 5.4 Okay, so looking at this death card, um, as far as the picture goes, or other various things mentioned, there's nothing too out of the ordinary from the other cards. Um, notably, it is worthwhile mentioning that he's wearing more like the winter tunic than it is a uh, summer uniform or something like that. Um, no awards mentioned or anything like that, but I did. I was able to find him on the Volksbund, at least I'm pretty certain I found him. Um, this is one of those instances where the more you do it, the better you'll get with it, because the first few times I probably had similar issues with this. Essentially what happened was I typed in his name, I typed in all the other information I could gather on him, and it said zero results. So then I tried deducting, um, like, the area he was from, and just, like, 1942. Well, it still said, like, zero results, I believe. So at that point, I just typed in Josef Weber, and went with that. There was about 60-something results, and about... 15 or so down, he, he showed up with a matching death date that time. Now, um, it did not say that he was from Nemlovitz, which Nemlovitz now is essentially in what would have been like Czechoslovakia, uh, it's southwest of Pilsen. Um, and Chudovo, where he was killed at, is also southeast of Leningrad. So, going with that, on the Volksbund records for the soldier, um, it said that his birthday was 726-1910, and like I said, the death date did match up. So then I deducted 31 years and 9 months from 1942, and that matched July of 1910. So that's one thing that makes me believe I found the right guy. And then it says that he was born in Oberfausten, Bavaria. And that's basically, looking at it now, right along what is would have been the Czech border now. Um, so it's very close, probably within, you know, modern-day driving distance. It could have been that he moved there. Maybe he was born in Bavaria and then became an innkeeper in Nemlovitz. I'm not entirely sure without knowing his full life story. Um, and it said that his death was in, uh, pardon my Russian accent here, but Poznakow, Ostrol. And that matches pretty close to uh, the Leningrad area. And it says that he was an Obergefreiter, where here it says that he's an Obergrenadier, so that's that's pretty accurate. I've had some where it's definitely the right guy, and the ranks are slightly different. So, you know, that's another thing I'm pretty sure we got. And then it says that he was buried in Sologobovka, oh gosh, Sologobovka, Russia. And it's a German war cemetery, and that's also southeast of Leningrad. So I'm pretty sure we found him here, at least in the Volksbund. Um... Yeah, so that, I mean, that's just kind of one of those things where the more you do this, the, the more research you get under your belt, you'll kind of notice some of the tricks. And I'm obviously still learning a lot with this. And right now, all I have is the Volksbund. I, I don't have Ancestry or other records yet. Um, as time goes on, that's definitely something I will invest in. And we can go back and do some death card videos, probably showing some of the records that you can turn up from there with the actual like death card that says what killed the men or things like that. Um, but anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. And I will catch you guys next time. Have a great one.